All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see if anything can be done to defend you. He will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like our attack, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Chieftain. Just... Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought... that if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratok. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, Fireclaws. Now Tuk has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuke. Time to talk to Cyan. Should be interesting. Aloy, I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. 
I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. Cyan, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location. One I've never been able to trace. So, while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. You meant a lot to Aurea. Once I understood Aurea's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. What was the old world like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues, or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them? Broadly, yes. Life is hard for the Banuk. Their world is unforgiving in their beliefs. I guess they help to keep them going. So take it easy on them. Try to guide them. Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communion with machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As long as they don't end up worshipping you. Upon consideration, I believe such an experience would be intensely uncomfortable. You're right about that. Trust me. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can.
It would seem your time among the Banuk was to waste after all. Firebrick, <sighs> Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. So, the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His minds on their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Aberrant life. Transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter-killers, which means that someday, we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Eloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You'd do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. See what this blue gloom is worth.
It's our attack. Do you fire claws. This is gonna be tough. I can help with those. We have to stop meeting like this. One of the fire claws from Thunderstruck. sister and her. Take care of each other, Artok. Farewell.
woman is rising in the hunter's lodge. About time. but I'm used to it. these things again.
Oh. I heard. Aratak told me about Araya. I'm... I'm sorry, Nelta. No apologies. Aratak said that in the end, she was... filled with the blue light. She got what she always wanted, didn't she? Each time I doubt my way forward, I think I should seek her guidance. And then I remember. The only guidance I'll receive is my own. Which will have to be good enough. There's much to do. The Fireclaws. Aratak asked me to help hunt them down. It's a dire task, but it occupies my attention, so I suppose I'm grateful for it. My scouts have tracked them across the cut. I've already found the Fireclaws in Altuk. It's over. That's it, then. That's the last of the Damon's work washed away. The last notes of Araya's song sung. The cut is a safer place to live because of what you've accomplished. And now it's time to start anew. I'm glad I could be a part of it. As are we all, Aloy. Thank you. Intimidate you, Outlander. You must respect them. 